In this video, I'm going to show you how to record your Unity scenes right from the Unity editor. No code or third-party packages required. This is the same method I use to produce high-quality renders of my own Unity scenes. First, I'm going to talk a little bit about Unity Recorder, the package we'll be using. Then I'll show you how to get it set up in your scene and your editor. And then finally, we'll get to recording your scene. Let's start with Unity Recorder. So Unity Recorder is a free package built and maintained by Unity Technologies, the creator of Unity. They built it expressly for this purpose, for recording your own scenes. Though they haven't done quite as good of a job of letting people know that it exists. I use and recommend a Unity Recorder because it's trustworthy. It's built and maintained by the same people that built Unity. It's high quality because it can render your scenes directly from the editor without any intermediaries. And finally, it's easy. It's easy to set up and it's easy to use. Now let's set up the recorder. First, we need to create a scene or open a scene that you already have if it exists. For this demo, I'm just going to be using the basic 3D core template that comes with Unity to make this example as simple as possible and to show you that it works. That said, Unity Recorder also works with URP and HDRP pipelines, so it should work with your project as well. Now that we have our scene, let's go ahead and download the Unity Recorder package. I'll show you how to do this. So here I've got my sample scene open, and let's add the Unity Recorder package. So first we need to download it. So let's go to Window, and then down to Package Manager. And then if we click this and go to Unity Registry, it should show us all of the packages that are available. Now, if we scroll all the way down to Unity Recorder, click it here, and then if you haven't installed it already, this should say install, click this, and it'll start installing. For brevity, I've already gone ahead and done this step, so let's continue. Once the package is installed, we want to add it to our window. So we can do this by going to Window, General, Recorder is down here, and then Recorder Window. If we click this, we'll see our window pop up and we can slide it into our editor. Now that we have the recorder attached to our editor, we can start recording. So if you click this button, you can see the available recorders. We have animation, movie, image sequence, and GIF. Let's go ahead and have a movie recorder. This will allow us to produce a video of our scene, which is what we want to do in most cases. I'll go through a few of these settings real fast. So source is just saying that we want to pull it from our game view. We are saying we want to match the window size, which is currently set to full HD, 1920 by 1080. We'll take the MP4 media file format. We want it to compress as a high encoding. And finally, we're saying that we want the output file to go to this recordings folder. Let's get started. I'll click this and my scene will start. I've added a rotator to my uh, cube so that it's easy to see that the scene is actually going and we'll have something to look at. So let's let it rotate to 90 degrees and then we can click this button again to stop the recording. If we navigate to the folder that we output this in, we should be able to see the video. This is one I made before. Here's the one that we just made. We can see that take number two is here. And if we play it back, we'll see that same cube rotating. These days, I typically record Unity scenes of my generative art. You can get started with generative art in Unity by watching this video. 